Okay, I wanted to show you this uh, app that is called uh, Desmos. Uh, it's a free app. You can find it under <coughs> desmos.com, then calculator. It's a very cool app, you know, if you study any math or take any math class, any college calculus course, or well, even high school class, because, uh, you know, you can draw any kind of function. I didn't show you what <coughs> whatever the function is, if it is a, a straight line, if it is... Um, an exponential or whatever and you can play around you know it's very simple to use um let me give you just an example uh you know a straight line x uh, um, you use up uh, what is called the carrot sign so you basically do shift and then you know that little kind of like a triangle um on my keyboard is the number six so i press shift then i press uh, the um you know, with little symbol above six, and, the, and the, then you can write down a number, right? Square. So in that case, you will get a parabola uh, that everybody's familiar with, and so on, right? And uh, um, you can you can try different functions. You can try an exponential. You can try anything. It's really cool, um, and it's interactive. You know, if I click on the red line, I can scroll up and down, and the first number is x. The x-axis, the second number is the y-axis, right? And so you can learn about intuitive understanding of uh, functions. You know, like everybody knows about the parabola. If I zoom in um, and I have two, that number should be on the y-axis should be four, right? As you come closer and closer, should be four. Because taking the uh, square of a number, like the parabola does, it should give me four. If I go to three, it should give me nine, right? And so on. Um, yeah, three and nine. Uh, and you can play around. So the usefulness of these for what concerns Bitcoin is that uh, you know that uh, the power law theory says that basically um, we have power laws everywhere. And in particular, all these power laws, when they show up in terms of the power uh, of the uh, the price so basically the price can be written as a power for power we mean a number a quantity that is raised to an, uh, a power right that has an exponent so like the parabola but instead of being a parabola you have this number that is 5.83 that is really close to six and if you read the theory you know that why it's close to six is supposed to be um that the the corners grow up with the cube and then the price of a network, uh, that Bitcoin is a network, uh, according to the Metcalf law, goes up with the square of the number of users. So if a user go up in time with a cube, then the um, price goes up with the cube square, that is six. But you know, when you measure it, because never is perfect in life, right? When you do the real life measurement, it's going to be a number that is very close to six. So 5.83, that is amazing. But, you know, the theory says it should be six, and then we measure it is actually 5.83. So you write it down in this way. The reason why this first number is very close is basically because, uh, um, you know, it basically tell us, so this, this is supposed, this X, uh, it's supposed to be the days from when Bitcoin was created. Uh, and so you put there any number you want, uh, 1, 10, 100, right? And the, and the result, the Y, tells you the price. It's so simple. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know. You know, the, we, we tell all these amazing things about how beautiful Bitcoin is. To me, it's so amazing that a simple formula like this can reproduce so much, right? It doesn't have a bubble. This mo simple model doesn't have a bubble. So it's just the general trend you know the, if you average 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 right you take an average of all the values of bitcoin up to today uh and you do it you know like kind of adding more and more point you will get something that is very very close to this almost perfect behavior or you know almost it's you will see very 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 small oscillation because of the bubbles go almost to nothing uh so this is the overall average behavior of bitcoin over the long term and, uh, and so, you know, the reason why the 10 to the minus 17 is such a small number, right? 0 0.000, um, 16 zeros, 1, is because um, when Bitcoin was 
zero, first of all, when it was zero, right? That X is zero, zero time from when it was created. So zero, you raise the power, any power, zero is always because it means zero times zero times zero, so right? Basically six times is zero, right? Uh, but then day one, day one, you know, you can round the 5.83 to six. What X to the six means is basically you take six and multiply six times, right? One times one times one times one times one, six times is it one. And then you multiply that one by 10 to the minus 17. So one day after Bitcoin was created, it was, you know, <laughs> 16 zeros, one dollar, you know, they're basically hundred millionth of a billion of a dollar, basically nothing, right? And then you can say, okay, what about day 10? You substitute 10 there and you can move along. The, uh, the problem with this is that if you, it rounds up, I, I don't know if there is a way to show more digi digital numbers. You can do it on paper, but uh, the app itself will tell you basically zero because uh, it runs it up. So you will have to, and like I say, you can still use that, um, that uh, formula to calculate by uh, with a calculator, etc. But this will not help you too much. But uh, it, it, the beauty of this is that by the time you start to go to more days, like hundreds of days, etc., it will start to give you values that are basically kind of realistic, like you know, zero point zero eight uh, dollars. That is smaller than a cent, but the way to think about that is okay. Many, how many Bitcoin will have to sell to actually get a, lot, uh, a dollar, right? So thousands, ten thousands, etc. Right? And we know that even you know the pizza day. I don't remember what it was, but you know it was uh, probably uh, like one year or, or more than after Bitcoin was created. Uh, they sold, um, you know, they sold, they bought. Uh, uh, two pizza for 10,000 Bitcoin. So you can calculate what that meant in terms of one Bitcoin, right? So and this will, will tell you uh, how many um, how many Bitcoin you needed to sell to actually get one dollar. It is kind of crazy. And you can ask questions, very cool questions, right? As we know, first of all, it looks very flat because of initially because of the 10 to the minus 17. So it took some time before actually Bitcoin started to be um, have, you know, some sizable amount of money. Like here, you see, uh, for example, okay, $500, right? $500, uh, remember the number on the left uh, is supposed to be days. So 2,390 days. And if you want to know years, take that number, you know, go somewhere else uh, on, on the internet. Uh, I usually use a uh, even, uh, you know, Google to calculate. So what did we say? We say, took about 2,393 days, right? So we can, let's round it up to 2,400. Then we, you divide by 365, and it's, and uh, it should tell you, uh, it should tell you the numbers of uh, days, uh, sorry, years. And in this case, six years. So it took six years for Bitcoin to become you know, the order of a thousand dollars or five hundred dollars, right? And you can check. You go go and check on a real chart of Bitcoin. I'm sure that you have access to a chart somewhere of a price. Uh, Google has one, etc. See how long did it take for Bitcoin in real life to become about uh, five hundred dollars, right? And, and compare it with this. See if they are close. Remember, this is a kind of an average price of Bitcoin. It depends on where the cycle are. Uh, because this is another thing that people say wrong about the power law. Oh, it can be anywhere, you know, from this value. No, it, it is not anywhere. It depends on the cycle. There are when there are these cycles and there are the bubble, the price deviates a lot. Otherwise, it goes below that. But this gives you a, a kind of a general trend, right? A general trend. It's amazing because it's such a simple formula, but they can really reproduce the general average behavior of Bitcoin. And like I say, uh, try to average it over four years, you know, and see what happens. And it will be very, very close to this value. And then you can go and ask very nice, interesting question like, okay, how long did it take to actually, for example, became $1, right? So you can scroll here and move along the line. I go all the way. So here $10, for example, $10 to 1,200 days. And you can divide by 365 to tell you 
uh, over here. I can scroll, 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 go down all the way to $1. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so all the way to $1. Where it is. Okay, here. So it took about 830 days, something on that order, to be $1. And again, I invite you, that is about on the order of two years, a little bit more than two years. Go and check when it was. I, I remember by heart it was February 11, and you can double check yourself, February 11 of February, so around February of 2011, sorry. Uh, so I don't remember the exact date, but you can check. Um, and so it was uh, February of 2011, but it's about two years. So this equation tells you it, it took about two years for Bitcoin to become one dollar, and it is right within you know a few weeks, few months, and whatever. But again, for a, being an average price, being just a very for, simple formula, it's amazing. And you can do this for ten dollars. Right? You can scroll all the way; you get ten dollars. Right. You can go there, $10, $10. It took 1228 I think it took another eight months for Bitcoin to become uh, about $10. And then you can go and check $100, $1,000, 10000 right? And today we are about, uh, I ch double check, another thing you can always do, you can go on Google and ask uh, something like, uh, how many uh, days uh, today from, it will not, uh, ChatGPT knows Genesis block. If you say Genesis block, Genesis block is the first block for Bitcoin. Uh, but just say January 3, 2009. Okay. And it will give you, if you say, how many days today from January 3, 2009? 5,580. You see, it's, it gives you immediately the hands. Uh, and so you go to your app, you scroll all the way to this. We'll have to zoom out. Let's scroll all the way um, to when it is, what did he say, 5,580. Let's round it up to 5,600, okay? So I'm going to uh, move along and see here. You can see what happened when we had 4,171 days, whatever that was. And let's scroll to today, 5,600. It will be up here, okay? So 5,600, and probably you can recognize this number to be uh, familiar. 5,600, 5,600, 5,600, or 82, whatever it was, right? It was 82, right? If I remember well, let's go. 580, today's 500, 5,580. This is what today is. Look at this. $69,000. Is that close to the price today? Okay, very close, right? It dipped deeper a little bit or whatever, but it has been hovering around this price for quite a bit. Okay, and then you can look at, <coughs> for example, how long it will take to uh, reach 100,000. Okay, and that should be, and you can do the math and see, okay, how many days is this from now, right? So if, if today, is 5,800, it will take a, about 100, another 200 days, so less than a year to reach 100,000. Remember, this is not the bubble price. This is like a, the average, the new, the new <laughs> average value, the kind of, you know, the reference points for Bitcoin is going to be 100,000, you know, in 200 days from now. And then you can ask, okay, what about 500,000? You can scroll up or 1 million, etc. you know, and you can play around and look at this hockey stick. Look how crazy it is when people say, oh, it's not, it's not bullish enough for me. What are you talking about? You know, the six, the power six growth is amazing, but also because all the things that we say about power law, how they are resilient, they are uh, what uh, physiology, what animals, uh, prefer what uh, things like cities uh, tends to adopt, you know, the GDP of a city is a power law, the number of patents is a power law, all these processes that are very important for the growth of something, a sustainable growth are all power laws. 
and we are and this power law is an amazing power law because it goes up with the six that is really, really fast and the same time is resilient is proportional all the beautiful characteristics so i wanted to invite you to play with this app and see if you like it okay and discover things put comments in uh, in the video you know in the uh, post that i'm going to post in a moment and let me know what are your explorations and it will be cool to people compare it with real uh, life results with uh, of different milestones for bitcoin with uh, what the theory says okay thank you